So today we're gonna do mermaid yoga on the beach to prepare our body, mind, and breathing capacity for swimming underwater and diving. Swim underwater like a real mermaid is not that easy how it looks like. So that's why we need really strong core, our legs, and flexibility. Mermaids should look pretty when she swim underwater, so it's extra hard. I have had adults uh, over 60, and I have had uh, people who maybe never step in the water, but they wanted to become a mermaid. So in a class, that's what we do. We, we don't mind the age, we don't mind the shape and size. We love to teach swimming to everybody. And in our case, we love to give everybody a chance to become a mermaid. It helps me be me, to be free. No, no hang-ups. I don't think about that I'm fat, I'm skinny, I'm just a mermaid. And as a mermaid, I feel beautiful. So to put tail on, we need to open straps, roll all the way down your tail, put your feet in. We have two straps. So one is going in front, we adjust it, and one behind. And we're gonna roll all the way up, all the way up. Lay in your back, lift your hips up, and tail is on. <laughs> so mostly we just coaches. We just teach kids how to swim, how like swim mermaid. But I learned by mermaid swimming that we shouldn't be scared and we, we should be who we are and embrace it. And I had to be a mermaid. It's a, a freedom when you're in the water and you're one with the sea, it's, it's nothing like it. It's nothing like it. Every other weekend, I have what we call my Coney Mer Meetups. And it's a group of mermaids that we come and just catch up with our lives and take a lot of photos, videos, especially with the merfolks. And they come from North Carolina, they come from upstate, from all over, including mermen. I like how the mermaids are spreading the world about ocean awareness about climate change. Water is everywhere, so I think around the world people should enjoy. If they want to be mermaids, go ahead. <laughs>